Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Subnautica. Yeah, how's everybody's day? Mine has been really good. And yeah, so for today the plan is to go and see what Lifepod 3 has to offer. Uh, it's stating that the crew reported that Sea Glide is damaged and that is the plan for today. Just to go check it out real quick. There might be some fragments there, uh, like the Sea Glide, but we already have it. So we might find other uh, blueprint fragments. Because, uh, like I said in previous episode, I think it was the previous one or one before that, every time we went go into a new area, it loads in new fragments. So, we might find something different there, and it would be great if we could find the Seamoth. But that also means we have to find a vehicle assembly bay or something like that, and construct that before we can get a Seamoth. So, anyways, uh, anything else, anything else to report? I don't think so. Uh, we have a lot of things on us. Yeah, I think we're good. Also, another thing. I almost, almost forgot. If we go check out the tools and whatnot. Uh, I want to really want to get this habitat builder going. Just so we can start building a base. And, you know, get some extra storages and things. Otherwise, we're just going to sit here in this life pod and just depend on this storage space. And it's already run out. So, it's not going to help us in any way whatsoever. So... In order to make one of these, we need a computer chip, wiring kit, and battery. And if we go over here. Computer chip is table coral samples, gold and copper wire. And copper wire is just to copper ore. Let's see if we have any more ore. We just have the one. Okay, now that's that's not great. And I think it's still dark outside. Yeah, a little bit. So what we can do is quickly scout this area for anything else like uh, there we go we got that and the way we get coral samples uh, those table coral is these guys here see that the, the uh, little machine is telling us to scan it so let's quickly scan it and all we do is we attack it and it falls attack another one and it falls I think in the past if you broke one of these that it would split into two and uh, we need these for the batteries but it doesn't look like it's right now um yeah okay let's go back and see we will head out for that in a moment i was waiting for actually for daytime don't know how long it will take so let's go ahead and do that and get this piece so copper wire that's the first thing we're gonna make and then we can make the computer chip, because we have all the things in our inventory. Great stuff! Yeah, we unlocked something. Advanced wiring kit. It's just two silver ore. And I, I, I feel like that's still a wrong recipe, but you know what? The game is in f out full production, so... Yeah. Uh, battery. Should be too much, and more copper ore. Okay, let's go check out the other things. Uh, wiring kit is also no wait that's not it oh just a normal okay there we go that's the advanced one here we go so wiring kit is to silver ore and we don't really have that do we we have one silver so we need more right so that means we have to go even deeper Okay, so let's just quickly see if we can't grab some. And that's titanium. That's a copper. That's a copper. And is there anything else there? Over here as well. Okay, that's more titanium. Damn it, we're getting a lot of titanium. Uh, nope. Yeah, this means we have to go down. That's a scooch. That's a scooch more. Uh, let's see. Okay, we, more copper is good. More copper, the better. Just want to check uh, our, uh, what do you call it, our, what our breath, brief, uh, oxygen, uh, that's it. Just want to make sure we don't die from oxygen deprivation, drowning, to be more exact. But we do need to go down as deep as possible, and I don't worry about too much about the shark tooth fishies, because, yeah, we are actually faster than them right now. Uh, uh, oof, oof. There they are. 
And like I said, I don't worry about them, and I just swim it right into one. Come on, give me something. Anything! Okay, you know what, let's grab, grab some air, and let's just go check out, where is that? Uh, where, where are you? Where did you go? That's our life pod. Oh, that way. Let's go that way. There might be some silver ore in that direction. And thanks to the large amount of titanium we have, we should be able to... Aha, uh -huh, here we go. We should be able to build a base quite easily. Yeah, see, there's the sea glide fragment. We already have it. You can go ahead and scan it. It will... Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor... Okay, cool. So what do we get? A compass! Oh, wow. You know what? I've been in the previous game. I was looking for that compass. But okay, looks like we found ourselves a compass. Integrating new PDA data. Alright, so we did find life pod number three. That is really cool. So let's quickly go grab some air, come back down, because there's a very deep space. And see so if we can find one more silver. We need just one more. One more. I mean, come on, game. Come on. Give me that silver. No, that is salt. I don't want salt. I think it was salt. But that's not what I wanted. Aha! There we go. Wow, okay, that was close. Woo! Alright, let's go back to base. And we need... Come here, fish. We need water. I think one should be fine. It should do it. Yeah, so, okay, that was light part number three. Did it go ahead and... Yeah, it did uncheck the heads-up display notification on where it is. And uh, yeah, so that is good. So it's not going to hang around, like, getting in our way and whatnot in the heads-up display. And I'm talking about this, the beacon manager. So it would... Oh, it's still displaying. So let's go ahead and just uncheck that so we don't see it. But I want to know where our life pod is. Okay, let's get back into here. And yeah. So now, okay, we have a compass. We will check that out at some point. Uh, because that would be really, really nice to have in the beginning. It's good to indicate where you're going. Alright. Now, let's go ahead and make a battery. Okay. And now... We need just a normal wiring kit. A normal wiring kit is two silver ore. Great stuff. And let's quickly go ahead, get ourselves some water. Nice. Uh, oh, yeah. This, this button. There we go. And... Alright. Sorry, I, just, I was just thinking there for a second. Don't know why. Thinking on YouTube, not unheard of. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Okay, that sounds great. So yeah, we have another message. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, that guy sounds a bit angry, might be the word. I don't know. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and look for a place where we can plop down our first area, or our first boulder. Building. Building! I don't, um, hmm. I feel like... Okay, that's the Aurora right there. How about... Uh, this is sort of confusing because it's not like an equal flat land. You know, it's all... Topsy-turvy. Hmm. Where shall we build? And the closer to the surface, the better. Because the solar panels, which we should have, I don't think we have to go research it or find it or anything. I think over here, this this looks good. 
we can just build around everything. Yeah, the solar panels will work as uh, closer to the surface. The closer you are to the surface, the better. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out. No! So we are unable to build that. We need a multi-purpose room. No. So there's a cell. Okay, so we don't need to research it. Okay, there's some... Some of those things, and we can build those things. Ah, the locker. Large freestanding storage. Alright, so we need the multi-purpose room. That means we have to go to... One of the, um... Islands. One, one over there, and that one. I think that... What's that? Oh, it's just a coral piece sticking out of the water. Okay, now I just got confused there for a second. But yeah, this is a thing I was been pondering about. And you guys can let me know in the comment section uh, if you agree with me or if you have an idea or anything. But will we also have these little missions? Like, um, let's say for instance that life pod. Would we have the same type of thing in Below Zero as well? Let me know in the comment section what you think. Will there be these little quest line or extra side quests uh, in the game of Below Zero? That would be great, actually. You know, getting to know the story a little bit better and things. Yeah, so let's see what this mission is about. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay, now that is uh, that's good to know. That is, uh, we might find somebody alive. I hope. Maybe. Okay, so let's go ahead and drink some more water. Come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that's, I'm not going to drink that. That's a large one. Okay, so what else? What else? We need the multi-purpose room, which is going to be over there. So it's not going to help us much right now. You know what? Let's go. Let's just go. Let's just go somewhere. Uh, there we go. And we might have to construct a battery at some point as well. Well, that's quite far away. Yeah, new, brand new battery. Because this thing has got 46% power remaining. Luckily you do get rechargeable stations at some point where you can recharge your batteries for both your Sea Glide and your Seamoth and Prawn Suit. Ooh, look at that thing. Oh man, I love these reef packs. They're so cool. You can't do anything with them. I mean, you can scan them. Come on. You can scan them. There we go. Short range scans suggest this biome you, this is so cool. Diversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. That is so cool. Oh, there's one of those plants that attack you. Oof. And this thing has got, like, life on it and everything. A Roge K Cradle. Can we scan it? Yeah, we can. I thought it's something we can pick up, but ah, that's pretty cool. So there's the next life pod. So let's grab some air, and then we can go down and check it out real quick. Let's we'll see if there might be any more fragments. All right, let's go down and see what's... Oh, that's a sand sharks or something. And I see a fragment already. Okay, let's grab that. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, I don't see anything here, but... What we can do is scan the Seamoth fragment. I think it's one out of three, yeah. Uh, Oh, it's becoming dark again. Oh boy. Alright. Let's go... Yeah, let's go back to our life pod. And I think that will be the end of today's episode. Uh, and maybe our life as well. Lol.
Anyways, thank you so much, guys, for joining me here on Subnautica. I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy the episode. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.